Hey guys, welcome to Emmett Does Minnesota, and today we are playing at Daytona Golf Course in Dayton, Minnesota. This is a great farm course, and I'm going to tell you why. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Make that commitment now. That would be super cool of you. And since you've already committed this early to subscribing to the channel, you might as well hit that like button on this video. I mean, you just might go all out and just uh, do it all now. If not, you can watch to the end and you'll do it then anyway. So it doesn't really matter when you do it. Oh, oh. oh. All right, guys, so now that we got all that over with, let's talk about how I determine how I rate a golf course. I go off the sleeve technology of the box of golf balls. Four sleeves in a box. Plain and simple, pretty easy. Um, if you really want to break it down, then we can go by the three balls in each sleeve. So that's how I rate my golf courses and how I rate the amenities at the golf courses from the food to the uh, cart girls, boys, um, and that's just how we do it. Um, it's worked out pretty well. I've gotten some good feedback from the people that um, have watched the videos from last year, so that's how we're going to keep doing it. So, at the end of the video, you will get my sleeve rating for Daytona. And, uh, yeah. First off, I'm not making any excuses for how bad of a round I had. I normally shoot about 90 to 93 on this course. I'm about a bogey golfer right where I said I want to be. Bogey golfer. Um, but, big but, the night before, we had a huge hailstorm and lots and lots of rain you'll see in a couple of holes here that um i don't know any golf course that could have gotten rid of all the rain that happened a nice shot and i'm really disappointed i hit the top of the tree there but no excuses should have shot better but the greens were kind of uh, beat up and uh the fairways were um pretty wet so not a lot of rollout nothing like that nothing the golf course could have done so I'm excluding that from the rating uh, and I've played this course on a beautiful day and um, know how it normally plays but that's how I normally would do it I would not punish a course because of um, the amount of rain and hell and stuff like that this is the hole that you'll see with standing water on it um, but not a huge deal I think yeah that drive was horrible and I was that close to going nicely done over the trees yeah I was really excited obviously but um I was that close to going into the woods but and then you can see all the water in the fairway there other thing is, this video is kind of long. I want to know what you guys think. If you like seeing a lot of shots, if you guys want to see just a few shots, I'm trying to gauge all that out so that um, I can make a video you guys like. And I just was burning edges all day on the cups, just like Joe did there. So please leave me a comment down below if you do like seeing a lot of these shots, um, horrible oh, wow. and bad, because. Trust me, we are not great golfers. And I hit it kind of fat. Told you. So, <laughs> and here's uh, Joe's. There it is. You got over. That's gonna be nice. <laughs> if I got over. Wow. If that's not over, I don't know what to do. Well, I guess we're about to find out if that got over. And sure didn't. Yeah, Joe was having a rough day also. And then uh, 
this is how wet they were. My ball actually stopped in my divot. It oh. did not spin out of it. It just, it was a good inch into the ground. But, like I said, there was a lot, a lot of water. So, let's get to some of the fun stuff. Alright, guys. So, the cart girls, beverage carts, whatever you want to call them. Some of the best the in the business in the Twin Cities. Um, they wear uniforms. They stop when they see you're about to take a shot. They're friendly. They're nice. And the carts themselves, the beverage carts themselves, are very well stocked. And are absolutely... If you, they're, they, they have everything you need. You know, from booze to pop to chips, candy bars all that type of stuff so um, I give the beverage carts at Daytona a full four sleeves and they deserve that birdie birdie bitch yeah no that's a par god damn it by the way Joe just on the ninth hole well got a par and then uh so he went par par for nine and ten so it's actually pretty excited about that and i don't blame him one bit what the fuck? all right let's talk about the clubhouse with the food um they do have a big bar they do have food it's like hamburgers brats hamburgers things like that so the um clubhouse food i would give it the food's really good, don't get me wrong, um, it, it's good food, but I'd give it a one and two thirds um, sleeves, because they don't have a big selection, but it is good, so we'll, we'll call that pretty pretty good there. By the way, that shot that just uh, off the back hill there, I sculled one back there from hitting that tree, um, yeah, I just blew that hole. I mean, sometimes you get drives like this, and um, Joe had a pretty nice little shot there, but this is where I wind up, so chip out, take your medicine. All right, let's talk some of the amenities that uh, Daytona has. Uh, they do have a driving range. Uh, the clubhouse does have, like, a small little pro shop but they don't have like you know shirts and shoes and all that type of stuff they pretty much have balls and tees so um guess uh amenities i'll give them a one and one third sleeves it's um good enough for a little farm course all right so for the big part the golf course itself oh bad bounce off that hill. daytona is a hidden gem it is a fantastic course. It's well maintained. Oh, I hit it harder this time, it's at least. just an all around fun course to go play. With that being said, there will be a couple of things if you're used to a pristine course that will turn you off. And those are just little things you got to look past when you're playing a farm course. Hey, we caught the tree. Yeah. But with all that being said, I do believe that Daytona does deserve a full three sleeves with uh, the course. Um, like I said, it's not pristine. It's nice not the you know most beautiful course. It's not you know the Wilds or you know Deacons or anything like that. So if that's the type of course you like to play then you know Daytona might not be your type of course but for uh, for me I think Daytona is one of those courses oh. that I think everybody should come and check out get in there alright guys and to my favorite part of the whole video is the final score Ooh. for the whole shooting match so oh. we know that the uh, beverage carts excellent uh, food at the clubhouse. Good. Small uh, choices. Amount of choices. Uh, pro shop. Not too bad. Does the job. 
and uh, nothing to say there. And then uh, does have the uh, driving range, and it does have a uh, small putting that might be in the green front. practice ah, green. Felt so good too. Nope, you're right next to it. So I give Daytona a full three and one third sleeves for the course nice. and everything all put together. So highly, highly recommend coming out, checking out Daytona, playing Daytona. It's a course that you're going to have a lot of fun at. So don't pass it up if you ever get a chance or you're up in the Dayton area. Come by, swing some clubs, and have some fun. And it would not be an Emmett Does Minnesota video without a Joe shot. And here it is. Oh. What the hell did I just do? Anyway, so let me know what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. You know how the, the whole thing goes. I really do enjoy making these videos and I hope you enjoy watching them. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Alright, see you then.